it's like raining in my barn. The other little lamb was laying there and when it went to get up, she nailed it. I can do this and the sheep will never know I'm even coming. All right, I gotta go in. Good morning. It's like raining in my barn because my curtains are open because I guess the sensor's not working. I don't know. Or maybe it's not supposed to rain December 24th. I'm gonna get these lambs and then I'm going to take care of some curtain problems. Happy Christmas Eve, you guys. So we had this little mama that had twins, which is great. I'm not sure if she's a first time you or not. Yes, I believe she is. And this one had a single. She's marked for twins, so whether she's got another in her, I'm not really sure. The lamb's still wet, so she's not looking like she's interested in having another baby, but I'm not sure I would be either. So that's it for this morning. I have a little bit of bad news from last night that you guys missed after I turned off the camera. So if you remember around lunch yesterday, this one was, I helped this one lamb out two really nice lambs, and they were like, around there and she's licking them off when I left and I think we did good all day she fed them all day and then last night I came in and the little lamb the other little lamb was laying there and when it went to get up she nailed it and nailed it and nailed it she was beating the living stink out of it so I don't know what happened I don't know if she thinks that one of them like it miraculous it became one of these lambs or I don't know but anyway we uh we had to take it away and put it in the bottle baby pen so now what i have to do is just make sure it got through the night which it did i already saw it but i'm gonna give it a little bit of milk in the bottle just to make sure it's got some but i'm still this is the problem um because chris is not here for another couple hours and i i want it still hungry for the machine so i'm just gonna give it enough to keep it going which it, it looks fine it's wandering around in there but um, wants something in its little belly before she gets here. It's kind of been a quiet day, but We've had a few just in the last hour have babies. Two sets of twins? Two sets of twins. And one lambing right now. You just had a set of twins. And you just had a set of twins. Where's your other baby? There you are. Hi. And I just finished tagging yesterday, so boom, 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 boom. And then those two are from this morning. lady right there is lambing. Which one is it? I thought it was you, but maybe it's you. Oh, it's you. Yes, it is. I apologize. Well, we have been busy enough the last couple days that already we're down to under 40 left in this group, I believe, which is kind of seems like I can see the end. 
watching a ewe trying to lamb sometimes if they're in the very beginning stages is sometimes like waiting for a phone call that you're that you're expecting so I'm gonna walk away I'm gonna go through the mail that I got yesterday actually I got two days ago I haven't had time to even look at it yet because tomorrow's Christmas it's crazy already Christmas Eve our little tradition is uh, Jack should be coming home any minute now and we all just uh, eat some like finger foods and then watch really bad movies so not bad movies funny movies Christmas vacation is always the one the family tradition if mom doesn't fall asleep through it which I did last year we always like recite the whole movie yes we are that family and uh, the other movie we started watching we actually watched for the first time last year is Christmas office party so inappropriate but so funny so we're gonna watch it too I'm just trying to get everything put to bed in here Chris is gonna take my night chores for me tonight and then I am gonna do Christmas Day and I think she might try to be here boxing morning boxing day morning depending on the weather we're supposed to be in for a pretty big storm this first one is from Sandy okay first of all she sent me some ornaments with 2020 on it and a little stocking but check this out This just might be my new favorite thing. I can do this and the sheep will never know I'm even coming. Another one that I got are from my friends at River Road Brewery in Bayfield, which is a brewery not too far from us. And they took Rusty and they started their very own YouTube channel. So make sure you go check them out. I think it's called This Brewery Farm Life. Uh, I will hopefully remember, Sandy, if you're watching this, which you are when you're editing, Remember to put it in the description, their YouTube channel. So go follow them, subscribe. Um, they're just starting new and I think it's really cool. Just they'll take you the kind of the behind the scenes in the brewery and they also have farm animals. They sent me um, some brewed biscuits for the pups by a company called Two Spent Grains. This is the best part, this made me laugh. I love good marketing, and good labeling. People tested pet approved. I thought that was Brilliant. They sent me some honey. They sent me a Highland cow. Thank you, Nikki and Dave and family. I'm so excited. This one I really wanted to read because it's Christmas Eve day and I found this letter really sweet and I really wanted to read it. I'm not gonna put, um, I'm not gonna say names in case they didn't want their story shared. On behalf of so-and-so, we would like to wish you all the happiest of holiday seasons. For the past two years, we've watched your videos during Christmas. Lammies has become a tradition that it kept our, our minds sound during our difficult, unconventional relationship. You see, we've been separated by thousands of miles. Three years of visits, two countries, and many nights of conversations have now led us to become husband and wife this past February. Two years ago during the holidays, we stumbled up upon your YouTube channel. We watched daily, followed the ups and downs, the struggles and the triumphs. It had become an integral part of our online date nights. Uh, now this Christmas will be our first side by side in the same room and just like all the other years before, every night before making sure our little family is fed, the tradition of your videos will endure. The ornament we included represents the first hobby we ever begun together, fish keeping. Seven fish tanks, dozen of fish, and even fry have now become our mutual passion. There have been successes, there have been failures, and much learning involved. I can relate. Uh, one of your most recent videos has even given us the courage to talk about the hard decisions that sometimes need to be made. Our very favorite uh, plus, 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 sec, mm, can't pronounce it, I think it's a fish, had recently fallen ill and for two weeks we tried every treatment imaginable to help her. The next day you had posted an update regarding the sick you that had listeriosis. You talked about them showing a fight and the will to live by eating and we decided that if there was no improvement by the end of her last medical treatment that we would have to put her down. The following day she made the decision for us and passed away but we but we now have the proper equipment if we ever if it ever if ever the need arises again. Thank you. Uh, I've also included some homemade dog biscuits for Kinsey and Lucy. They've been a Christmas tradition for all four-legged friends in my life since I started baking them back in 1993. Hope they enjoy. So that is just, when I get letter, uh, there's been so many amazing letters and cards you guys have sent me and the stories have been incredible. The emails I've got have been amazing. I got one today from a peer that I really look up to and it's like, 
I don't even know, sometimes you don't even think they know who you, you are and and they're just so highly respected in your industry that when they're like, wow, you're doing really good work, I'm like, really? Because I don't feel like I am. I feel like sometimes I am an embarrassment to our industry because I always screw up. So when I get those messages from people that I really admire or even people I don't know, it's like, it never goes unappreciated and uh, I'm just so, so, so thankful and this Christmas has been amazing for that, so I'm grateful. So anyway, look at the beautiful fish. Uh, Julie, Miley, and Michaela, I think it's Michaela, um, they make uh, salt dough crafts every Christmas and they sent me this one. Chloe, 10 years old. This one is from the De Boers, a really pretty Christmas card and a really nice letter. This little girl came to see me in the summer. So this is from Abby and her whole family came to visit us, but this is the, uh, she made me that. This one is from James, Fleece Navidad. I have a sweater that says that, by the way. Brooke Wilson from Texas. My vet walked in today by the way and uh, we just talked about all the stuff and he didn't seem too overly worried um, but he did laugh at my Christmas tree he thought it was a bit much I don't know what he's talking about how can it be too much it's a little kitty that one is this one is from Chantel Rebecca Zoe and Amy and Patrick and I think they made it too homemade Age seven, made by Zoe. Isn't that gorgeous? This is from Brie. Look. Look! Oh, look at the card. Looks like Kinsey. It's from Jen. Last but not least, a little Tigger. Little Winnie the Pooh. Uh, from Scott, Jennifer, and Megan. Thanks, guys. All right, that's it. I'm gonna hang them on the tree, but let's go check that you first. Make sure she hasn't had a baby. Okay, we're gonna leave her. Feeling a little bit like Cousin Ed in this hat. I might wear it tonight while we watch our movie.
I've been watching this girl for a while and I see a nose and I don't see a foot. So I'm wondering if that's why she can't get it out. And if so, I have to move her. I hate moving them when they're in like mid push. my gloves on but That's my camera you no go away baby for ya. Good job. Good job. You go away. Sweet baby girl. Happy mommy, full of milk. Wish she had two, but she only has one. And that, I think, is it for my shift. Quiet day.
What's your vote, Jack? How long do you think mom will last? One movie. Uh, One movie. Maybe like the I don't know Margo part. Yeah, she'll just fall asleep. Are you gonna fall asleep like your mother? Really? Yeah. Stay up all day watching movies. So me. I'm the redo your voice. You've heard yourself kicking them. Stop! 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 Stop!